Hey, good Tuesday, everyone. It's meteorologist Joe Martucci. You know, these next couple of days are low-key impactful for us, and I'll tell you why. Let's start off with Tuesday morning. Locally dense fog this morning, and we'll even see it on Wednesday morning as well. We do have severe weather threatening on Thursday. Then we go to Mother's Day weekend. If you were thinking about spending time outside with mom on Sunday, you might want to move that to Saturday. And, you know, really, mom would probably love it if you spent outdoors with her on Saturday and inside activities on Sunday, right? Let's take a look at our visibility here. We'll start it off at 7 a.m. on Tuesday. Visibilities under a mile in Hamilton, Millville, and Long Beach Township. Really, it's going to be spotty, dense fog as we go through about mid-morning or so. And then as we go into the day, the fog stays away. But as soon as that sun drops, well, we lose that uh, pushing power from the sun, keeping that fog away, and we get more dense fog as we go into our Tuesday. Below a half mile in a number of spots overnight through about mid-morning on Wednesday, and then it burns off and stays near the coast through about noontime, and then it's gone everywhere as we go into the afternoon. Here's a look at our future cast here. Some spotty showers through about 10 a.m., mainly south of the Atlantic City Expressway. The rest of our Tuesday will then be dry and with a good amount of sunshine, but here comes the fog, and eventually some rain showers will come on Wednesday morning here. Good news is I think it rains for just about an hour or so. Most of your Wednesday will be rain-free could see a spotty shower during the late afternoon into the evening hours, but that would be north of the AC Expressway, and that would be brief as well. We go to Thursday, and we have that severe weather risk. I think the biggest concern right now is lightning that comes from these storms, although heavy rain, high winds, and maybe even a tornado will not be ruled out at this time. We'll have more details for you on this as we go into the next 36 hours. Let's take a look at our bus stop forecast. You know, it's pretty mild out there. Temperatures around 61 degrees, but there will be fog and some spotty showers as well as we rise through the 60s inland. We'll go to the shore uh, forecast for your bus stop and you know really just a light jacket all you need temperatures will be above average for this time of the year even at the coast high temperatures end up being in the mid 70s inland upper 60s at the shore this is all 5 to 10 degrees above average for this time of the year and we'll do it all again on Tuesday night some showers late fog will roll in as well but low temperatures will be above the norm now we do have coastal flooding on our Tuesday night, we're talking about 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. seeing tidal flooding. All the areas in orange here see flooding in bivalve on the shores of the Delaware Bay. That includes Miller Avenue, Ogden Avenue, Memorial Avenue as well. And here is Manilokan, minor flood stage. That means we're flooding on Bay Avenue, Arnold Street as well. Manilokan, of course, a hot spot for tidal flooding at the Jersey Shore. And here is our Memorial, excuse me, our Mother's Day forecast i'm thinking already ahead to summer here but here's mother's day weekend spotty showers around maybe even a period of rain as a coastal storm checks to our south and east we are looking for this not to be a washout at this time but we'll keep you updated we still got a lot of time between now and then here's a look at our inland seven day forecast wednesday is hot inland 84 degrees it will be muggy too it's going to feel like a June day out there. Rain on Thursday could be talking about severe weather and then a few showers on Friday. So rain in the forecast every day between now and Friday. The only day that could be a washout is Thursday, and I don't even think Thursday will be either, really. We go into the shore seven day. We are talking about mostly cloudy skies on Saturday. And then Sunday, we see some rain showers moving through. And then Monday, we'll see temperatures around 60, and we should stay drier by that point in time. You can check out more from me and our Lee Weather team with our Across the Sky podcast. We are talking about new episodes every Monday, including this past Monday, where we talk with David Dillahunt of Southwest Airlines about what it's like leading the weather operations at one of our nations.